The first strategy I want to tell you about is how to launch your online accounting business as a busy person. When you are working full-time, you are in a full-time job, I suppose, when you have many other family responsibilities and many other commitments outside of work. I'm sure that the lack of time is your first serious concern, as it was for me. You may be asking yourself, how on earth am I going to start my accounting business while I, while I still work full-time? And I guess it, my friend, I've been there. I get how overwhelming it can be. But there is good news. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make space for your new business idea. I know I'm going to tell you how to set your life up to support your new venture, because it will soon be a living and breathing thing, my friend. And it is simpler than you think. I will give you some hints that you can implement right now and start working on your business even tomorrow. Yes, you can start even tomorrow. Trust me, this is possible. The thing is that it all comes to creating certain routines in your daily life and sticking to them consistently. And I don't mean doing it every now and then. I mean regular daily habits and routines that you will be able to follow every day. Once you incorporate them into your life and get used to your new routines, it will become as easy as breathing. It will be part of your life, something you do without thinking. It's so important, especially when you have so many other things to do, like I mentioned, full-time job, looking after kids and family responsibilities. Having a certain structure in your life will help, help you keep on track and achieve your ultimate goal, which is starting your own business and reclaiming your freedom. So right now, I'm going to share with you my own routines that helped me start my accounting business when I was still in a full-time job. First of all, let me tell you something, and this may come as a surprise. You do have the time. You just need to get comfortable with integrating it integrating your new business idea into your life instead of forcing it, all right? I would recommend two simple exercises to do on a daily basis. That's what I did, and it really helped me get where I am today. First, find just 10 minutes every morning to visualize your online accounting business and think about what your life would look like. Why this works? This technique is a very powerful and it trains your brain to feel as if you achieved this goal. So I used to do that every morning when drinking my coffee. I used to imagine where I wanted to go with my business, how my days would look like when I had the freedom and flexibility to, remote, to work remotely. I also thought about how exciting and fun it would be to work from various locations. You can also write these ideas down in a journal to make them more real. And the second exercise I encourage you to do is set aside just 30 minutes every evening to work on your goals. Just 30 minutes a day accumulates to 15 hours per month that you can dedicate to getting your new business off the ground. I promise you, if you schedule it and make it happen, these small sacrifices will pay off in the end. And one important tip, you need to make your goals doable and manageable. Break them down into smaller parts that will help you achieve your ultimate goal, starting your own accounting business. I'm not saying that you can't do anything fun or that you need to spend all of your time working on your business. That's, that wouldn't be fair. What I am saying is that from now on, you need to think of your time as a resource. And a couple of super important tips based on the lessons I have learned and the mistakes I have made. First and most important one is to put your well being first. You are the most important person in this whole venture. Why you should do that? 
I am the best example say, sitting in front of you. After spending 25 years in corporate world, I suffered from a full blown burnout, which pushed me to quit the job, as I, as I mentioned earlier. I really know too well how important it is to put yourself first and care about your well-being. I wasn't good at that and it didn't pay off. So don't forget to look after yourself. What works best for me is yoga and pilates, but this is just me. I also love long walks with my husband, Adam. Find what makes you feel good and stick with it at all times, okay? Another very important skill you must learn is how to say no to the things that no longer serve you. This will get you closer to becoming your own boss and reclaiming your freedom. For example, my weakness is binge watching Netflix. And as you can imagine, it's a huge time waster. So even though it was a feel good factor, I ditched it and reclaimed a few hours every week. I'm sure that you can find similar examples from your life. And last but not least, you will need a lot of support on your new journey. There will be challenges, hard moments, but you can get through them with support from your loved ones and your friends. My biggest fan and supporter was my husband, Adam. And he always believed in me. And my mother and my sons always also supported me on the way. So tell your family and friends about your new business and let them know how serious and passionate you are about it. And I'm sure they will support you. As a word of encouragement, remember that phrase. Success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. So you don't need to be perfect. Absolutely, you don't, and nobody is. You just need to stick with your plan. Keep that in mind as you go on your entrepreneurial journey every time.